Hey YouTube family, welcome back. Um, I guess maybe I should say we're back. Um, we were anticipating a move to Florida and the end of the school year really threw things in a tizzle for me. So um, I'm back and ready to get moving here. Um, I had a lot of the house packed for the anticipated move and it's now not coming to pass. So a huge portion of the problem is, is that now I have to unpack. Um, we also had our son Eddie in the hospital. He was in there for um, six days. Um, he has been diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease, um, which is a sister to Crohn's. Um, so now we have all that to deal with on top of everything else. So um, since I had um, resigned my position as a teacher um, at the school I was teaching at, um, thinking we were moving to Florida, um, my husband and I have decided that this year may be better well spent with my time. Um, just kind of subbing and doing my thing this year. Um, so that we can see what's going to happen with Eddie because this issue he now has um, affects his immune system quite a bit. So um, we're going to see what happens. So with everything that's happened, we took the trip to Florida to look for housing, found that housing with what they wanted to pay me as a teacher there was just ridiculous. Um, we couldn't afford the housing with all of Eddie's new medical issues. and. Um, and things so what we decided to do is to stay here in Ohio and, and go about business that way but we had his hospital stay then we were gone in Florida and the sad thing is is the refrigerator has taken a big hit so what I'm gonna do today is clean it out do a very very good clean out um, clean out the refrigerator and um, I thought I'd bring you along with me for that and then we'll do some other things um, throughout the house getting things put back together getting things cleaned up um, and just doing what we need to do so we are going to start with cleaning up the refrigerator something that everybody needs to do and I will just show you the way that I handle it so um, give me just a second and we will get everything started and get this whole situation rocking and rolling so just a minute and we'll get started all right guys um here in just a bit you may be hearing and i don't see how to turn it off a ding it comes from my refrigerator to let you know that the door's open but as you can see musasa <laughs> we have quite the mess i'm not going to be so worried about the door to get started but let's get rock in here and get things unloaded start from the top shelf we'll work our way down oh yeah produce didn't make it So, I guess I just bought it through in there the other night. Yeah, I'm going to go loose. Probably be staying. So we're going to go ahead and pull those on out. 
Ugh, I always hate opening mystery containers. shelf will be cleaned up so give me all right that annoying beep like I told you is the refrigerator telling me that the door is hanging open well there's stuff that won't come off so what I'm gonna do Take a washcloth, bring it out a little bit, and set this wet washcloth on it while I go to the next section here and get started on that. So next thing that we have is the produce jar. So. I think that was supposed to have been lunch meat. The sliced pepper jack we found that was good. Shredded Colby. Shredded cheddar. Mozzarella that's molded. Some sandwich pepperoni. Not expired, so looks good. There's the sharp cheddar. Lunch meat bag. Colby Pepper Jack bag. This Pepper Jack is so good. Looks good. Ugh. Much meat bad. Spread out. I don't know why there's ketchups in here. Crescent rolls. I don't know why those are in there. The white American cheese to make queso from the welder's wife. These are still good. again. So try wiping this some more. Butter's good. It's that I just bought. <clears throat> Pizza sauce, it's all good. Sorry about the noise there, taking the lid off the trash cans and sauce is still good. Uh, 
I bought these biscuits and crescents for a recipe. I'll just to figure out what I was going to make with them. There's a bunch of them. Some of these are cinnamon ones, but so much. Not a chance. <clears throat> get started on that. Alrighty, let's finish this up. Empty butter container. Does anybody else's kids do that? Just shove an empty butter container to the back of the refrigerator. Please tell me I'm not the only one that has that issue. Even if you lie to me. <laughs> dog's food. And these dips have been in there a while. So those are going to find their way to the trash as well. The drawers are really going to be nasty. So I'm not even going to do y'all a favor. I'll try and block this so you don't even have to look at it. been two weeks. Ooh, essence coming out of there. Yeah. Then my washcloth. Time to clean up this book. Really? Alright guys, give me just a minute because I gotta clean these drawers out and then I will be right back. Alright, now that it's all cleaned out everything back.
like I said, I use for my cheese and things. Um, this goes in, and you can put canned can items in here, like popping things. And it's supposed to feed, self feed it, and all this other kind of stuff. So it works about half the time, like most of these kind of things tend to do. I'm just kind of wiping it off here before I put it back in. And we actually have to take it out because we can get it to fit. So since you have beside our eggs. Um, and back the butter. Put that back. Um, and then I bought some of these little bin containers at Dollar Tree to use in here. So, we wipe this out. And one thing that we always seem to have quite a few of in here are like <laughs> biscuits and like I said, I think I bought these jumbos for a recipe. But we learned if I can think of what recipe it was. I got another. I figured I'd take two for that. these jumbo cinnamons to the back and these crescents here this is our baby this is those there stick these crescents here to the front sweaty. and then we also have um, bigger things like the salsa and the cream cheese and things along that kind of line and it always seems to end up all over the place because the way my refrigerator doors are made it doesn't fit in there so I'm gonna take this out it's got dust in it I bought these a while ago like I said to do this and then never got that far so we got the cheese so we'll put this one back in here Pickles will go in there. Cream cheese here. We're going to stick it up. Here's another queso in here. Um, I also think we have a magnitude of salsa. Get that out of the door. That in here. things that we just use on the here and there. You know, we don't use it a whole heck of a lot. It takes up a lot of door space. So does my kids saving barbecue sauce when we get takeout and so do this with really super super fast cleaning up the the doors here real fast. And throw mystery stuff away. Refrigerator, folks, and actually kind of empty. <laughs> so we will have to work on the grocery shop list and get that stuff all taken care of as well. It's looking pretty in here, so 
Well, that is the cleaned up refrigerator and I'm feeling much, much better because it's now organized and it's clean and looks the way it should. So that's a small start. So we will uh, keep rolling along here and getting things put away and get things um, reorganized and resituated so that it fits for what we want and what we need. So um, stick around with us and if you like these type of videos, please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and if you hit the bell you should be notified every time we upload a new video um, like i said it's been a while since we've uploaded um, because of the direction everything was going and the requirements on our time so um, i'm gonna finish putting things away that i dug out to clean out the refrigerator and then we'll move on so more videos to come probably a few more yet today so stick with us and we'll enjoy having you along for the ride so until next time, loves, bye.